a huge, you know, catch problem on the side of Enigma. Yeah, and that killing yeah, troll before Battle Trans gets used as well. <laughs> You've got pretty limited yeah. stuns. But I guess Dark Sea with a vacuum, you can be that disruptive force trying to deal with these team fights as they come. Helm of the Dominator is not really an item anymore, is it? I'm just thinking of what other things. Things Dark Seer could, do. but it really, <laughs> it really, it really kind of has to be the Arcane's mech build. Exactly, it's just going to be a Guardian Greaves and just try to yeah. buff up your allies, uh, kind of thing. We're going to see Mind Control pushing a lot of lanes out though. Like he, when he plays Dark Seer, he's so focused on just creating space by getting the lanes out, letting the Sven be in the triangle area, just farming it up, and just waiting for the timings of the Sven, and then going to group up together. I don't really expect a lot of like offensive place for Nigma because they can be punished by the Puck and the Bloodseeker, right? Like, if you think about the draft, it's gonna be so hard for you to enter the jungle of OG into all these big, uh, early game, small skirmishing teamfight skills that they have. I guess the same thing could be said the other way, though, right? You know, Dire Side, we see a lot of teams when they've got a hero like Sven, they kind of make that barrier in front of their triangle. And they've got, you know, a hero mid, a hero bot lane, and then one hero is kind of lurking in the jungle a bit forward somewhere. And sure, you've got Puck, Earth Spirit, the ability to gap close in, but then you're walking into, you know, Charge, Supernova, Storm, who can get on top of you. So Miracle can have a pretty good game here as long as they can build up some stacks for him. That that scaling Sven is still going to be a real beast to contend with. That's exactly what they're looking forward to. So both teams just interested in just you know, farming up their two carries. They don't want to be the ones making the overly aggressive move because it's easily punishable from both sides. Uh, we might see a little bit potentially of a slow game if both teams are respecting each other's skills, but we might also see the biggest, scrappiest Dota ever, because <laughs> both of these teams have very low <laughs> cooldown skills, and they're willing to throw it out. I'm waiting for the tops and E-Blade on Puck now. <laughs> I've, I've just, had a, just had a thought, like, hang on a second. You mentioned the Yule Scepter against that Orchid of Storm, but it, it's Topson. He's always there to create havoc and chaos. So. Yeah, the E Blade. I, I'm sure he'll eventually get on it. He's probably having like Second that phase, item. you know. We, we, everybody goes through that phase where you, there's like an item where you think it's so OP and you're just trying to like see like w which heroes you can fit it into. Maybe that's safe for Topson right now. With what, what's, your, what, what's, your, what's your item? What's your item? What's my so item? Um, yeah, did, did you have a phase of, you know, Hand of Midas or Mask of Madness or something like that? No, no, no. I just, I, there was a phase where I was like winning a so much MMR, I want to say like 5 or 6 I just played position 4 and I just bought Guardian Greaves every game. Oh, okay. that, was, that was my phase. It was a very boring phase, to be fair, right? Because uh, in matchmaking, you know, people, they like to be very selfish. So when you buy the when you buy the Greaves and you just like beat this tanky guy, bait things and heal up your allies, they just get super surprised that they're so much stronger than they actually are. I'm the team player. team player. Yeah, I mean, when I pub yeah, stack, with, I friends, stack with friends, it's Radiance. It's radiance. Oh, <laughs> it, is, it is Radiance oh, time. God. I love role playing as you know, alchemist, alchemist on any hero. <laughs> any hero. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there was a there was like a JDL game back in the day, like a league game where I was playing playing position one ogre. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Radiance Manta style. No one could kill me. I was so tanky. Very right, ending the conversation right here. Yeah, that's where it stops. We're done. <laughs> Just be thankful I don't do Midas into Radiance. Anyway, anyway. No tail and sacks are already getting a hit in onto Miracle. Sven's gonna be standing up there with yeah, GH, GH Phoenix. Phoenix. Troll Waller for LTW is up there as well. There as well. So it looks, like it looks like OG setting up for the Omni Troll to be top to face off against the Sven. Ooh, I kind of like this. Um, they're gonna be able to harass the Sven out quite a lot. They're just trying to slow down the farm of this hero. And Seb realizes that he can pretty much you know, 1v2 against Darkseer. He's got so much sustain with that thirst. This is one of the old school counters to Bloodseeker with the Blood Rage in the past, but now Blood Rage is with thirst, right? So you just kill up your Blood Rage, thirst, and you have like pretty much infinite regen. And Darkseer gonna get some of his creeps denied. He's gonna fall behind a little bit. Spearbreaker not really gonna be able to help out the Sven until maybe the Darkseer hits level three, the level two Iron Shell. And using that, he could TP top and maybe get like a surprise kill on them. That's what I would like to see, actually, from Nigma. Yeah, it's a really nice setup from OG. And they're also blocking up that top pull camp, so Phoenix not going to be able to drag the wave back. 
And then in that mid lane, of course, tops it up against we the Puck versus Storm. Storm. That should be an interesting one. Already, right, Tops in with the. Uh... Oh, yeah. Straight onto my control at half HP. They're just not hesitating one bit. Every time this rolling boulder is going to be back up, they're just going to keep on going on MP here. Sax is going on to Kuro to try and stop that wave drag back. Should get a decent amount of damage on him. Oh, he goes for the courier, though. Takes down Sax's little puppy. Oh, well, Sax is trying to drag the, drag the large camp into it as well. well. Sam's going to be able to farm that up, though. Farm that up, though. It's like from Kuro just dragging the background, but that does mean he's going to miss the creep wave in front of the tier 1 tower now, unfortunately. Oh, my oh, trying to body block, body block it. Oh. Sax is body blocking the other wave. The other oh, he gets two of them. Two of them. That's but good the enough. That's we'll move good forward. Enough. forward. That'll keep the wave in front of the tower. But there's also uh, Iron Shot Creeper going to Seb. Yeah, very true. So Seb's going to continue getting that complete free farm. Throws a blood right just to make sure that Saxa is guarded up. I love how this is like the end of the patch and we're seeing a Bloodseeker Earth Spirit lane against Spearbreaker Darkseer. Solved patch? Question mark? And Kuro just about gets the charge back to the creep wave. Yeah, expending a lot there just to keep themselves alive and allow my control, like you, like you were saying, to get up towards level 3 as quickly as he can. Oh, mid lane, a very tight fought battle. Burning through a lot of regen on both sides. Topson and Wee dropping pretty low. And now both of them within kill threshold of each other. You know, one vortex or one nicely placed illusory orb could take each other down. Exactly. Topson did not go for the winning rift build. He does have the face shift to dodge the right clicks from the storm. So it's not going to get that surprise burst damage out of nowhere, at least, onto Weeha. But Weeha Radiant is going to be pressured up by this big creep wave that's going to be coming in. Oh, cool. Oh, there's the Vortex into charge. And Topson winning rift fairy fire. He has an orb and a face shift to get himself away. Jump to the high ground, barely escapes. Oh, that was incredibly tight. And has the solve. Like, Kuro made a really good call to just TP mid, trying to get that surprise kill, but he does, he did not have the great bash yet. So, You're still level one? Still level one? Yep, I think so. The creep wave just died, right? It was like mm. a pretty big creep wave that we had just managed to say. So it's still level one. Unfortunate for them to not get that kill onto the puck. And then Thompson with Santa lurking. They do have vision on the Earth Spirit, so we shouldn't get caught off guard by this. Still gonna get rolled on though. Wee's walked into it. Boulder smash there, and Thompson. Mm, that fairy fire buys a second of time, but first blood is spilled. Very big first blood. The bottle was on the way to Wee. He did not want to lose that on all this experience middle. And GH can keep him in now. Hold on. That means Miracle is in a lot of trouble now. He does not have a support in his lane. Miracle's going into a jungle, I think. <laughs> he he didn't know what to do. Yeah, you can see him stutter stepping, like tangling up. Do I go left or go right? And no tails Omni Knight is going to come across and try and find him. That's pretty much Rolling the bottom. And a charge. They've got iron shells going. Bloodseeker throws the blood right down. Good damage, and now the thirst kicks in. So he's speedy. Gets away from darks here while the spirit breaker. Mm, body blocks under Saxa by mind control. Allows Kuroki to walk it off. These iron shells doing a lot of damage, but they've got the stun into blood right. Sax are about to fall, but it's the trade out for Seb that he'll be really thankful for. Yeah, the Sax are dying. Our Nigma are going to be very grateful for that Hellbirth Smasher doing that little bit of extra damage onto him first. So at least they get a trade on the side of Nigma because that was just a dead MC. You look at the CS as well, like we top again, three, all green. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Oh, he's got a haste. Catch though. him. He doesn't want to pop it yet. He wants to steal some barriers <laughs> with this haste if possible. But so much pressure, yeah, for OG. Like they're pretty much winning all three lanes at the moment, especially the top lane. LTW has the freest lane at the moment, and Miracle heading into the jungle at level three. You hate to see that for your carry. Oh, Vortex into mid. Topson not too bothered by it. Yeah, he's got raindrops and Topson and Saxa trying to get himself onto these bounty runes. Kuro actually grabbing up my controls bottle to take the bounties. Poor Storm Spirit, we with an empty bottle realizing with a scan that Sax has already taken it. Oh man, we just not having it anymore. Well, like, look and at where Storm and Sven are sitting. That's not good. That is really not good. Like both of your plus one and two need the jungle. Storm feels quite a ways away from level six. 
Pops him. He's already in level 6. If he kills up mid again, he's just gonna get coiled. And he's gonna get some TP support and kill this boy. Phoenix up at top. G oh, Sanks are down bottom dying. GH is dying top lane to RTW and No Tail. Seb is trying to sprint forward. There's action on both side lanes and Thompson rotating in. Gets the two-man coil. The surge of mind control doesn't really get much done because he's just trapped in there and there's an urn from Thompson. That's his first item. Mind control gets the last iron shell out before a double kill is given. That puck from mid lane. And that's that level six rotation. Yeah, really punishing Nigma going in front of the tier 1 tower bottom. This is what Pox and other mid laners who have this big key fighting skills early do. Whenever you show in front of the tower, they're just going to TP in, cast a lockdown spell, guarantee the kill. They're not stopping us Seb. Oh, we still level 5. So there's no oh, kill yeah. threat here. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, Seb might be dying here. Yeah? Charge, ball lightning. No ball lightning. <laughs> we are still a couple of creeps away from six. Yeah, back to this Thompson urn. I don't think I've seen much of this before. Mm, I like it. I, I'm not sure he's going to go for the full vessel. It's just like that little bit of extra damage in the early game. It does a lot of work. Oh, we. Oh, we. Still level 5. If one creep dies, maybe he can crack 6, but he's been ruptured and kicked. He did. He's just got the ball lightning ready now. Actually moves forward, looking for the kill onto Seb. Not enough damage by any means. The charge forward, Kuroki's aiming for it. Blood right comes. We has to fall away, and Kuroki, he's deep under tower. He finally gets the takedown on the Bloodseeker. And we'll be able to walk out of that tower range too. Finally, Nigma gets something done down in the bottom lane, while mid, mind control. All right, he's fine, but it's a lot of pressure from Thompson. Yeah, he's brought mind control down to 100 HP. Does have some bottle charges though, so that's gonna be okay. We're holding down this position 3 and 1 hero around the mid lane. Oh, gets cancelled by the orb. But yeah, I guess instead of going bottle, this... Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, we might be able to turn this maybe with a few lucky well-timed bashes, but the blood right dodged Kuroki. Yeah, just gets sliced and diced. The flayed twins come out and said to meow in all chat. But yeah, with... Oh, Thompson. Oh, 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 he missed the coil. Unfortunately. Oh, that, that looked like a short kill, too. He was trying to get it on the edge, right? So it would snap mm -hmm. right away. He tried. You know what they say, right, Gary? You miss all the shots you don't take. As soon as you... Yeah, as soon as you start that sentence, I knew what was coming. I knew what was coming. GH. Still has dive. Dyer's top tower. I don't think they're going to be able to take him down. Just get him out of the lane as quickly as they can. Oh, they nearly killed him, actually. GH, that final touch, a bit spooky. And now the first is there. Miracle arriving with Kuroki to help out. Finding the Omni Knight. No tail drops. We also killed off Saxa down in the bottom rune spot, too. A good little turn of aggression from Nygma. That was really good. Uh, getting those two supports. They really needed something like this. And Miracle, he actually... I mean, I want to say, he's made his way back into this game. Like, his net worth is not higher than the troll, but considering he was jungling from three level three we've got a master mass already radiance middle and level seven that's not so bad yeah, he's out level control. yeah he, he really is actually my control drops the wall gh is here and sam actually gives up on the kill but saxa secures it kicks that boulder forward while storm zips in kuroki's charging towards seb in the back end that's a nice blood right though catching phoenix dodge from storm and ball lightning so they turn on to gh and the puck does arrive like you say with the coil back up trapping kuroki inside and the rest of og sprinting forwards as we is completely out of mana but they don't have any further catch and that charge back into the blood right actually puts kuroki in a spot of bother silent stop tank Boy, this spirit breaker, but Thompson dominating that maxed out orb. Substantial magical damage in this early point in the game. Yeah, the orb and the urn together just doing the amounts of damage. He actually missed the coil onto Wii there. He tried to do that uh, edge play once again. Didn't manage to hit Wii. Heavenly Grace gets Thompson. They want the pipe for the bounty. They don't want to give this bounty to OG, but they can't help it. Puck is just too strong this early into the game. Also asserting a bit of dominance. 
around those ancient stacks as the god strength and vacuum back finds no tail. Seb rupturing the Sven, but Jage is here with the Sunray to heal him up. In comes Saxa, big magnetize, kicks away the Miracle Sven as the storm's aiming on the puck, ball lightning away there, and Sax has actually just fallen. Topson thinking about the orb and the waiting ripped in. It is still a pretty good fight for OG if they can just launch themselves towards that big target, but Miracle, he's bought enough space for himself, he's life stealing. Up off the creeps, finally dies to Topson, jumps away as that Dream Coil does keep. Mind Control Dogs here held in place, but he's falling. Faint shift away from the fiery spirits, the sunray burning through the fairy dragon, but it's a double kill. Thompson really playing out his mind to skirt the edges of that fight and just about escape with his life. Wow, that Omni Knight came in at the perfect nick of time to drop the purification and the heavenly grace onto the pot. Like every little second that Thompson stayed alive there mattered so much. And they managed to kill the Sven. I mean, Miracle, he made a very surprising play during that team fight with the Surge and the Iron Show. I think that was the right call, but maybe just stuck around a little too long and ended up dying. Meanwhile, Troll Warlord has just been farming that whole entire time. And it was that situation we were mentioning in the draft, right, where Nygma won this high ground triangle area. There's planting heroes in front of it, taking fights around those bouncy runes. And OG, they really do like contesting. This level 10 puck. Coil is ready in a few seconds. Oh my goodness, you called it. Look at Thompson's quick buy. <laughs> <laughs> yes! He's still no. He's he, no he's baiting us, right? He's listening to the stream with no. five minute delay and he's like, like Caster is like, lol. <laughs> no, no. He's real. This is real. This is Radiant phase right Oscar. now. <laughs> real E Blade Puck, guys. E Blade phase. Here we go. Oh god. <laughs> Should have a timing before is, Sven BKB Sven too. BKB. Right. The thing is, we have is like far away from that Arcus. That's the problem. He's only got 3,800 network 12 minutes of the game. He's been suffering quite a lot because he's going to be taking the jungle. Nice coil. They've annihilated these two. Kuroki and mind control. Magnetized up. Storms it back in. They've got a pretty decent wall and a supernova there too. Topson in the midst of it all. He's not got many spells left. Tries to orb John, but Kuroki with mind control both fall trading for two in return. Seb wanted to join into that fight. Running forward with some pretty hefty movement speed, but it's all space. You look at the troll, and he is racing towards Battle Fury. He is, but I must say, that was probably a worse trade for Nigma here. I think they're going to be very happy with that. We, we were saying how, like, the team who's the one, like, leaving their defensive place and going aggressive is going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. And that's what happened in that last fight, right? Like, Thompson dying there kind of hurts because he was 7 and 0. And uh, Miracle tower. was there Something to pick up tower. some gold for that engagement Giant as well. Are fortified. He got oh, yeah, like 500. Actually. Yeah. Those yeah, some gold. <laughs> Decent amount there. RTW showing his face in the mid lane. Thompson toying with a rupture from Seb. Miracle's gonna get healed up. Clean out Sunray and Kuroki. Oh, Kuroki's final level 6, but we taking down Saxa. Dream Call's there again, only onto one. Finding GH on that Phoenix. Well, Miracle, he's just getting clicked down. Seb on a killing spree, removes the Sven. And now Nigma, what, what do you have left? Storm's not joining this fight. Mind Control just being left dead to right, and a double for Seb. They could even go for GH. Wedding Rift is ready. There's the Earth. The right click's coming. Oh, GH should have the dive in a second. Doesn't even need it for now. Yeah, they did not expect that OG was going to come in onto Miracle there. They were trying to make their own play onto No Tail and just didn't work out. Fighting in two different places at the same time for Nigma. Bye bye, Kuroki. That was the first fight where IOTW actually showed up in the engagement. Like trying to take that tier 1 tower and we can see how strong OG is if LTW is also available to take the fight. And it was without Saxa, right? Because we killed Saxa somewhere else yeah. on the map. Yeah, on the map. 4v4. It is going to help Saxa, I mean, sorry, we a little bit to get to that first place. Oh, oh, we, no, 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 that's not what you wanted. Atos. That rod of ATOS. Seb is there, ready to strike, and now they've ruptured up Miracle. Topson's about half HP, he has the three-man coil, orbs forward. The rest of his team's gonna get in there with a nice rolling ball in, the magnetized up three of them, and the Enigma are in a lot of trouble. They've got a good supernova trying to zone back OG, they do fall back, but now striking again. As Topson falls, Sven though, does get removed by that troll ward and her spirit in the end. Pretty good defense by, by Enigma, but losing two cores off the back of it. 
not only that, one that parts with the Sven. Like, he's the one hero, I feel like, on Nigma side who cannot afford to die. You can trade anybody else, that's okay. But the Sven is just falling further and further behind this Troll Warlord. And it's already a very hard matchup for the Sven. Especially playing against this Rupture. All right, do, you, do you think at this point Topson's pretty happy for just throwing his life away as long as RTW survives? I don't think he's ever happy throwing the throwing his life away, but he's willing to take fights. Like he doesn't really mind if he ends up dying as long as it's good trades, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they're looking for. And Miracle is the best trade that he's gonna get. Uh, his life for Miracle, sure. His life for other heroes, probably not gonna be too happy about it. Radiant are scanning. Well, if you can keep delaying the storms. Orchid, which it looks like we is still pretty distant from. Uh, 500 gold, uh, we, we could say, right? Yeah, 500 gold, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the recipe, right? The recipe, right? Yeah. It's still pretty slow, though, right? Normally, we see Brown Boots, uh, Orchid Storms come out around, I want to say, somewhere between 11 to 14 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But we have been really struggling because he didn't have the access to the jungle since Miracle had to take over that early into the game. Tower and they will be aiming for that BKB Sven timing. Should come in at around the same time as this uh, Greaves for Mind Control because Arcane's mech is here. MC looking pretty ready to fight. Urn on the Spirit Breaker up at top. But RTW is the hero showing there and he is by no means an easy target. No, he's not. He's always going to be that battle trend. So OG. Buy enough time. Do they see the Sven? They don't know where he is, but they might. Oh, he's walked into the camp. Seb, very close, nearby. They walk past the courier. They're going to go for mind control instead. Yeah, he's off blood right. Absolutely no chance for mind control there. So at this point, OG show a bunch of heroes top, and the natural move is the Enigma probably thinking, hey, whoever shows bot, we go kill them. And just look at OG. They all TP bot lane. We're going to die. They've got the coil. Straight in with the bot. Oh my god. Where did he go? <laughs> and the worst part is he still doesn't have his orchid. Tower. Oh no. When he's alive, they still can't make any smoke plays yet because they're still missing that orchid. Miracle gets jumped on as well. These boulders from Sax are just finding target after target. Supernova's gonna try and zone them away from the Sven, but the Blood Rise there. He's very low, the rupture's still going. Tanked up by the Earth, the wall dropped. In goes Mind Control, but there's the Guardian Angel coming through from No Tail. Miracle tries to turn and fight, but his physical damage means nothing. No Tail's gods are more powerful than yours, and GH found by the Blood Rise and Orb. MC and Kuro left with nothing left to do in this fight. Storm maybe with a zip in and a Vortex focusing onto that puck, but no tails, yeah. backup plan, the saves, the heals, and Thompson's in again. Good bash and kill on the puck at long last. And we, thankfully, does survive for Enigma, but a roll in, Saxe, he is hungry. Might have overstepped for a second, though. Roshan's fall, oh my god, okay, that's what's happening. Sax is rolling in, so they can't contest Roshan at all. RTW just soloed it. Yeah, I mean, he notices all of Nigma's heroes are bottom. His team is pretty much fighting four versus five. They kill the Sven off. He just walks into the pit. He doesn't mind. He has that Morbid Mask up too. He didn't even need to use the DD to take the Roshan. Does take it after he gets out. Nigma, again, Miracle dying. Even if they got the kill onto the puck, Storm does have that Orkin now. Maybe they can try one more play. Get another puck kill, try to build some momentum from there. Uh, but it's looking really rough for Nigma at the moment. They really need this Sven BKB to even stand a chance. And Storm has Orchid now. Dark's here. Gonna tank up the coil. And again, Sax are pairing up with Topson, kicking him and snapping it. Nice little mech comes out from the dark here, but he's still trapped inside the blood right. And Storm Spirit has a long zip away, but look at who's waiting for him. We down to a very low mana. RTW is there, he's going to be catching him. We is not, he's dying. dying. Kuroki's bashing him. Okay, Storm finally gets back. Kuroki is actually saving his life, but giving up his own in the exchange. Look at Saxa. Saxa finds the Storm Spirit stunned. It starts kill. 25 to 15, Enigma really don't stand a chance. Yeah, he got ruptured on Wii, and I was so surprised that while he was zipping, he did not TP out. So he got caught out by that Troll Warlord. OG are just so fast on this map. They don't really care about all these creeps. They're just looking at hunting Enigma down. They're walking into the high ground. They want to make Miracle come back to the base and defend the high ground so he's not farming and still pushing the map. 
Yeah, just going straight up there. Why the hell not? Force the wall. Back up a little bit. Smoke. Fake back. Where are they going? Where are they going? They got a ward as well. They will see if anyone on Nemo walks down this high ground. Radiance. Oh, he's obviously just frontlining. Oh, check out Saxa. This is it. He's gonna he's gonna try to find Miracle. Oh, cancel his TP. He wants to catch him so that his team can TP in and try to kill Miracle. They're looking for kills on him, but he notices that Miracle is not farming the Ancients here. He's gonna go back to his team instead. Very good call from Miracle not to show up on the creep wave. That would have been very bad. <laughs> he's still very patiently waiting. Maybe in a second when they see the rest of OG. Yeah, they've, yeah, they've spotted and pinged Saxon out, so that's the immediate move for Miracle to clear the wave and then run away. Thompson's on his tail, though. E-Blade slows him down, has the coil, catches up to the Sven, and in comes the damage and the silent stun from Saxa. Kick and snap the coil as oh, elsewhere. Weeha has been slain by LTW. Obliteration by OG. As, oh god, they're going into my control. Ruptured up, RPW5 the double kills. The troll is going wild. Kuroki, he's gonna get netted up and trapped inside the Blood Rider. Looks like he will before Sen will even fall. GH can't get the tech down on anybody. And that Yule Scepter, it buys a second of time. But Phoenix without dive can't retreat from that hungry troll with a triple kill for LTW. And all they get is the Omni Knight too. So Nigma losing their carry top to two kills and losing the fight four versus three. Yeah, the church is power. They could not go on to the turret. You've got the Aegis, so they always have to try to go on Omni and Blood Seeker. That allows LTW to just freely hit in the team fight. And the first lane of barracks. Lane of barracks. Nothing to stop them. I feel like I've not clicked on this set blood secret in a while. We've got Rod of Atos, Pipe going into Halberd next. So even when that Sven gets BKB, if he gets preemptively halberded, that's just it. Yeah, this pick, this blood secret pick was just a really good for OG. Not only is it great laning into the dark seer, but this rupture against the surge, and when you throw that onto the Sven, it makes it so hard for them to have any impact on Miracle. He's got so many good targets as well. It's like Phoenix Dive, Darkseer Surge, Spirit Breaker Charge, Sven who wants to be running around chasing people. Whoever he ruptures, really in for a real nasty time. Yeah, Surge is the only one he doesn't want to use it on. Yeah. Ball lightning eye. Oh, look at that. Nearly kills. Oh, that damage. Holy smoke. Oh my god. Yeah, nearly, where's, nearly where's takes him out. Ah, uh, he's middle. <laughs> I was really expecting Thompson to just come out of nowhere and just snipe the ace. They're aiming Thompson with the Orchid. He e plays himself before they can finish him off. Vacuum back into the wall. Not going to work out for them as the Supernova going down. Thompson does fall and Miracle getting some good damage in. Finally, the Guardian Angel arrives from No Tail. Miracle surge. BK beat up. Charging forward towards LTW, but that's a troll with a basher and a battle trance. He turns face and he mashes into that Sven. Miracle's down. No buyback and unstoppable is what RTW is. Into GH we go. Kuroki tries to bash them back, but OG unstoppable at this point. Point. Phoenix, Blood right, doesn't tap him, but the final little axe thrown by the troll will. Two full lanes of barracks gone. Troll Warlord just looking absolutely invincible in this game. I mean, that was Pops and pretty much dying without really accomplishing anything, right? And uh, they can still stand there and just take the fights. Like, the Bloodseeker, Troll, Omni, these, the combination of these shields are so, so tanky. Saxa not shy to use his buybacks either. That's just the kind of player that he is. If they use so many skills on him, he's just gonna buy back, come back to the fight. He knows his spells are on cooldown. That's uh, opening for his allies. Yeah, up to a 15k net worth lead now. It's felt like a pretty one-way street with, and from what I can see, the graph only showing that OG have been in the lead for the majority, if not all of the game. He's under attack. Oh, what do you Thompson, think? Thompson, Thompson Bloodstone yeah. next. E Blade, E Blade, e -blade into Bloodstone. It is the same build he went last game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking last game he actually uh, messed up. He didn't lock his Kaya. He wanted uh, Octarine instead on the Jarcopter. But maybe he just wanted the Bloodstone. Under attack. Mm. Who knows? Right. Who knows? So indeed. difficult to get into Thompson. the mind of Thompson. <laughs> Only Thompson knows what's up. Like, this man playing against Orchid, he does not care about a yield or something to remove it. He's but like, I'm going like... to kill you first before you kill me. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's even like that TI gyro diffuser blade game. You know, it's just like, oh, I told my team I have diffuser blade. <laughs> they didn't know. I didn't say anything. It was like, guys, I have diffuser blade. Let's fight. Okay. Okay. Let's freaking roll with it. Believe and trust in Thompson. Oh, Miracle. Ruptured up still. And the coil actually catches both of the cores. The roll over the sacks up. Miracle turns with the BKB stun. Thompson being focused on the good back in wall. This is good for Enigma. The Sven is backing into them. He had killed off the only line. The bottom second falls as well. But after that, he's still standing tall. Turns with the troll. Bashes into the Sven. And Miracle, he's done for. Magnetized and slain as the double buybacks do come through from Enigma. But it's the supports. And now the storm arriving. Sans are rolling away. We still with that half mana left. Does catch out the Earth Spirit. Find yet another kill. Where's Thompson? I saw an orb. Ooh, he's low HP. E blade. Yeah, it's not the phase shift. And we is completely out of mana. Purification gonna heal him up. And Thompson jumping back towards other targets. And Isle to W finds the dying back in Kuroki. Nothing to stop the mind control TP home. Storm Spirit does make a pretty quick, weaselly escape. That's three buybacks on the side of Enigma. Good defense inside of their base, but it's not gonna be good enough because. ILTW, he's the big boss, right? You don't bring him down, your base is gonna be in trouble. A lot of trouble. He's got 12 stacks already. They're not gonna be able to defend it at this rate. It was like a pretty perfect vacuum. The wall, the Sven was in position. He wants to go back. the damage. He's just waiting for that BKB. One second, and there it is. Storm. Storm. Gets the Vortex on him, and then what? RTW turns and fights him. The blood right catches before the ball lining comes, and that is real sad for him as Miracle insta bash. No TP home after being ruptured up by Seb, and GG calls. All tied up, one apiece. That was so one sided. I mean, this is what happens when you lose three lanes. Right? Like, Nigma, they had this draft that works well in the mid, the late game, if they get their levels up. But, you know, the Sven got kicked out of the top lane. He was just level three. Then bottom, the Spearbreaker and Darkseer were not really able to accomplish a lot. This is one of the reasons why we don't see Darkseer in the current patch, because whoever he lane.